Welcome back, everyone, to the Natty19 podcast. Once again, I'm your DM, Jonathan Marshall, and well, well, G- there's a lot going on in the Natty19 universe. Before we get into the most important thing, which is what the hell is going to happen to the party in this epic combat, I got an announcement about Carnage Con. Oh, actually, I'm going to pass it over to Charlie. He, Jer, yeah, he's got all the info. <laughs> Yeah, Natty19 is going to be at Carnage Con. It's confirmed. It's set up. We're going to be there Sunday, November 4th, and we're going to be running a panel with a bunch of other bunch of other people from other podcasts, other shows. It'll be about our experiences uh, producing this, this show for you, and it'll be held at the Killington Resort in Vermont. So all you Vermont, New Hampshire, anybody within, you know, wherever you are, if you want to come see us at Carnage Con, we'll be there. Oh, and I've been reading the iTunes reviews. There, there's some pretty good reviews out there. Thank yes, you. thank you guys so much for those. Uh, it means a lot, uh, and, and it definitely helps us grow. I do know there's at least one person out there that has not written a review, so I'm talking to you. you yeah. got to leave us a review. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know <laughs> they've been thinking about it, too. They've been thinking about yeah. it, and they've been meaning to. Guys, uh, let me give me a couple <laughs> weeks here, all right? <laughs> Uh, no, I know the. <laughs> they're I meaning know. the right one, okay? <laughs> Leave, relax. Uh, I know they've been meaning to. Uh, you're like when you know, you always say, listening on your way into work, you're like, when I get home from work, I'm gonna get on there. I don't even have an iTunes account, but I'm gonna create one just for the. Pr- I love the show, and I'm like, I gotta support these guys. I know you've been thinking about it. You just gotta bite the bullet for us, bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> or broette. <laughs> <laughs> We can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Uh, all right. Probably going to cut a lot of that, actually. But anyway, so we launched our Patreon, uh, finally, for for those who would like to become our patrons and support what we're doing. We're going to be offering us uh, a reward system and all that good stuff that you that you usually see attached to a Patreon. We're also going to be offering special bonus content in the form of the garage days, right? And did we <laughs> come up with a name for? Or is it just this Ruby? is why this <laughs> is why Coleman. we need to prep the announcements. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. So we're doing the garage days, the abyss, our original stuff, and then my one shot adventure. The sun goes down with a ruby smile. That's right. And who wrote that adventure? Uh, Remley Far. Ren- Remley Far. Shout out. You know, I heard that name before. Have you? There was a tweet. I want to say he was tweeted by a bigwig in the D&D universe. Was it the Nay 19 podcast? Even yeah. bigger. <laughs> Even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Oh, God, we're a shit show. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if... Well, okay. <laughs> Get the I'm music. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ, end it. <laughs> Wow. Now, I don't know about you guys. I have been looking over this map, this battlefield, all week. And I got to say, it's not looking good. There's a couple of things before we get back to the bloodbath. I'm actually going to coin it the bloodbath of the Natty 19 podcast. What's the name of the shrine? This is the Shrine of Shigambi, the first of nine... The Shigambi bloodbath. The Shigambi slaughter bl- at Shigambi. The first shrine <laughs> out of slaughter. nine. The Shigambi massacre. There's a couple things before, uh, before we begin. Um, when I was setting all the equipment up, I had pinched my finger on one of the microphones. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking bad that, uh, that it immediately was a blood blister. And I'm wearing an R2-D2 Band-Aid, so uh, I might be a little slow on the clicking tonight, which might give you guys a bit of an advantage. I when you type with to, that Band-Aid, I won't go. be able to <laughs> attack you <laughs> quickly enough. 
Also, I'm extremely nervous for you guys, so I took the liberty of getting shit faced before we began. <laughs> 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 Let's open this up. What is everybody thinking about right now looking at this? Going into this, can we agree that it's as it looks right now? Now, I got it up on the screen, so everybody's looking at it right now, and I see them looking at it. And I want to know, does it look like, just, just at quick glance, does it look like somebody is going to die tonight? I give us a 50-50 chance that we all survive. Really? Yep. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident. I think there's a 70% chance one of us is going to die. Wow, Ooh. that high, huh? 70, Jesus. huh? <laughs> is it almost certain that one of us is going to die? Well, I, I'm, I'm looking at it. It's tough. I want to get it's into tough. it. You know, like Let's... for a, not so much dying to like in this battle necessarily, but as tough as it got so quickly, like exponentially harder, so fast. And looking at Irame's just natural hit points, it is hard to even think that she's going to make it. We weren't coordinated. That I think far. we we just really we didn't were work actually together. We were doing good until the ones came. Cappy fumbled, Wesson fumbled, and then it was the cascade from there. Let's paint the picture real quick gonna, just so that they know what we're gonna we're paint talking a, about. We're gonna paint a picture. No happy little fucking yeah, trees I, in this I, picture. I, I think we're gonna make it out alive. I think you guys are uh you know, kinda taking a negative approach. I think the dice are gonna be on our side tonight. The angels are smiling down on us and uh I think we'll get out of this temple. Oh, uh, those new young players are so optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. At a glance, you have everybody's opinions on what's going on. Now, let's paint this picture and see if that changes. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're on the road, you might want to pull over for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we're about to get a bit technical. You have Copernicus Hart, unconscious, dying on the ground, adjacent within threat range of two of these clay fighters. Cladiators. Cladiators. One in which, also adjacent to Quincy. Now mind you, Quincy is low on life. Uh, let's look at it. Let's look at how, much, how many hit points Quincy has right now. Uh, I'm reading two. That's what I have written on my sheet. Yeah. I'm reading two hit points. That guys. is obviously an error on your guys' part. <laughs> uh, now, the clay gladiator that is adjacent to, that is in threat range of, Coper of the dying Copernicus and the two hit point Quincy, admittedly, is crumbling. All right. One good hit will end it. One good hit. Now, one square north of Quincy. I don't want to say north, up from Quincy. It's five feet behind him. <laughs> is Wesson. Wesson stands. He's looking pretty decent on health, just over 50%. All right. Uh, but we know that these things, the damage output on these creatures, I can easily see him falling in one hit or, or one flurry of blows if they all rolled good. Now on the other now Wesson, it's important to note Wesson is also in threat with an, a completely undamaged or at least a, a, a good looking fresh Cladiator is pretty much blocking their retreat. Wesson and Arame are in threat range of that one with Orvex who's bloodied in the corner. Kind he's he's not in threat range, but he's in the corner bloodied. And then we've got, so we've got two fresh ones, one almost dead. Two fresh cladiators. Two fresh cladiators. One is crumbling. Now, the way I see it, it's Quincy's turn. That's where we left off. He's got two hit points left. I don't know about you. I don't know what everybody has. I didn't look at the sheets. Does anybody else have the ability to bring Copernicus up to his feet other than Quincy? I don't think so. This is a, a situation. Now, so, does anybody have anything to say about this before we dive into this? Or, or do you want to change your opinion on whether or not somebody's going to die tonight? 
This is the moment of truth. Will Quincy raise Copernicus or does he think Cappy's too far gone? I, I wonder what's going to happen here. This is a moment of truth indeed. Now, I described the players. Now let's look at the board. I want to remind, I just want to bring it out. Because when you're looking at a battle grid, you're only seeing a battle grid. It's, it's easy to forget the building that you're in. Especially if you're considering a retreat. Let's bring it back. When you first entered, you came upon a grate in the floor. I believe I said there were seven and a half inch squares that you can look down into this gladiator pit. The very one that somebody's going to die in tonight. <laughs> that was from that top floor, the entry room. All right. Now, this hallway doo -doo 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 -doo, follows from this room <laughs> all the way back to that top floor and then out of the shrine. Now, this is something else. This is something else that I'm just going to throw out there. Yes. That hallway leading out, how wide is it? Five feet. It's not 10 it's feet not wide? It's not 10 feet. So Five it's single feet. file to get out. Single file. And that might be your guiding light, honestly. That might save your lives. If you guys are considering a retreat, which, uh, you know, honestly, if, if that's lo just looking at it, I can't imagine any other way. Um, so, that being said, you had that grate looking down into this room. Clear view of Copernicus lying on the floor through that grate. Now, I'm going to leave it there with one additional comment before we get going. Two additional comments. One, I gave everybody inspiration. God, this is like sitting through grace. <laughs> I gave everybody inspirations. All right? I don't, I don't know who used them. Because I wasn't paying attention. I did. I know Aaron May did. I did. As I mine. did. Yeah, they're Tech all though. used, right? Yeah. All right. So we're still able to escape, even though the floor dropped. We <laughs> only dropped it. Only, it, oh, okay. it, it was like a button, yeah. a giant gotcha. button. It pressed in, and these things came out. It was really satisfying. Just that giant click. Oh, I was picturing a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was <laughs> it was a click and a rumble. Because it clicked, and then the rumble came from the mechanism that was triggered. Let's play some D. Let's D. get well critical. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the taunt situation again? Is uh, I, uh... taunt is the intimidation skill. Okay. And <sighs> let's get ready to rumble. Gladiator pit, take three. Fighting! Let's Out of the blue corner. Let's finish this. Quincy, two hit points left. Let's hear. I know you've been mulling over this all fucking week. Let's hear it. So Quincy, over this last month, you know, he's gotten into his first battles. He, he was pretty green, pretty fresh newbie. But he's still not a veteran by any means. So at this point, seeing things the way that they're going, he's shaken and... He almost starts to bolt, but he sees Copernicus laying on the ground right next to him. And everything just slows down. And in Copernicus's place, Quincy is seeing, he's going back to, to Gouda village, and he's seeing that Yuanti that was burning on the ground that he just walked past, leaving it there to die as he went over and healed the Zinti. And he hadn't told anybody in the party this, but... That Yuanti, that burning Yuanti, has haunted him every night in his dreams since. Even though this thing was our enemy, it was one Yuanti, and he could have healed it, and it would have ran away, and it probably wouldn't have made a difference to any of us. But he let it die there. He can't let Copernicus die. Yes. He can't let a friend of his die. So Quincy is going to use his action to uh, reach down and lay a second level cure wounds on Copernicus. And you recover 12 hit points. All right. Quincy will just say, Copernicus, get them out of here. And he will... I still have a movement action. You do have a movement action now. Quincy, run. You are in threat range with the one that's... He, albeit almost dead... 
but he is still threatening you. So which one does not have a reaction? The one in, in uh, threat range to Arame. Okay. Oh, fuck, Quincy. <laughs> Arame is just like almost in tears. Christy's almost in tears right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. All right, Quincy will retreat. Oh, God, he's going for it. Oh, he's got to. fuck. He used his action to heal me, so... Yeah, and now, he's going to start moving towards I the also, exit. I also looked into this as well. You can move through enemies at half speed. Okay. And, and friendlies. And friendlies. Yeah. You have to move okay. through friendlies at half friendlies. speed as well? Yeah, friendlies is half speed. I'm, no matter what, I'm going to provoke one attack. Yes. It's just a question of avoiding that second attack. Yep. Okay. And that can be the end of Quincy. Just also to clarify, when they're using an attack of opportunity, they don't get all their flurry of nope, blows. they only get okay. one attack. So I just need one attack to miss me. Okay. What do you got, Copernicus? Moving around other creatures. Can you say it in Copernicus's voice? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Right, Long days and pleasant nights. You can move through a non-hostile creature's space. In contrast, you can move through a hostile creature's space only if the creature is at least two sizes larger or smaller than you. Oh. Is it at half speed? Remember that another creature's space is difficult terrain for you. That's right. Okay, so this is going to provoke <laughs> three, no, two attacks on Quincy. If he if he tries to exit, yeah, he'll get hit by. If a you try to exit, four and one. but you, I guess you could move beneath Akramas to stand next to Akramas and Wessa. Didn't even consider that to be an option corner himself back there? Yeah, that might buy him some time. If, now, if I don't Co- get attacked. Copernicus, how much did you heal? 12 hit points. But I'm laying on the ground pretending to be dead still. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Quincy is going to make his way toward the exit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, it's the only way. Well, it's not the only If you move by Wesson and Akramas, that might buy you another round. That's all I'll say on it. No, I mean... Yeah, because Play Gladiator 4 is almost dead. Look if who's up next. Finish too. him off. Play 4. Oh, yeah, he's up. I, don't think, um, I don't think he'd think that because if he backs up, we can get boxed in, is what he's thinking. And if he moves back and one of those gladiators comes after Quincy, then it's going to have the full-on flurry of blows. And taking two attacks of opportunity is actually less risky than taking a single flurry of attacks from one of these Three guys. Three shots. Yeah, yeah it's, they're nasty too. Go for it, dude. All right. <laughs> he's going diagonal toward well, the exit. All if right. you go back there, he's not going to attack you. Oh, my God. Here's the first attack of opportunity from uh, Gladiator 4. I'm sweaty. Ooh, rolled a natty seven. Let's open it up and see. What's there plus the hit? Shit. I feel like that could be close. Ooh, this is a spear attack. Armor class 14. Damn, that's barely a hit. That's it. That's it. It's game over. Fuck. That's it. Minimum two damage. All right. Um, so Quincy's, I don't even have to roll damage on well, that. Well, Quincy's at zero. Yep. yep. He's not dead yet. Right. He's at zero. So Quincy... Oh, dude, we're fucked. Goes down. There's no way to bring Quincy up. Nope. Even if I did what you wanted and retreated, that would have still... That was the first attack of opportunity. It still would have happened. Yep. There's no getting out of this now. You guys got to run. You have to get disengage and get, a, get out of there, you, both you guys. Well, was, I, I told, yeah, I mean, I told Copernicus, get them out of here. Yeah, Cappy seeing him go down, he just yells at the rest of you guys, run, we must flee. Who's up? The only thing I can think of is, goodbye, my friend, it's hard to die. <laughs> he actually might lose. <laughs> Clay Gladiator 4 is up, and he's got Copernicus. I guess add advantage because I'm on the ground. Yep. If you're gonna go for me, then I'm I'm dead. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think this through, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought Quincy was at the end, sort of. I did uh, hint that Clay Gladiator Four was next. No, you did. You did. 
Clay Gladiator 4, Spear, Spear, Shield. With advantage, all three attacks on the bloodied Copernicus. First one, Natty 20. I don't even know why the fuck I came over tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't even know why I play this stupid game. <laughs> We're going to have to go to find something else to do while these guys play. Yeah. All right, have fun tonight, guys. <laughs> All right, that first spear attack, five, six, seven, eight, plus seven. Uh, yeah, Cappy's down. Fifteen. Cappy's down. Tsh, boom, done. It's going to move. Roots, dude. Top of the round, Orvex. Sees what's happening. He doesn't get its other uh, Didn't we get some attacks? speech how he doesn't coup de gras his players? There is no coup de gras. You guys are yeah, unconscious had... dying. I thought there was a... Uh, Attacking a prone player, like not prone, but a unconscious player. There is, but there is, but I okay. mean that's pretty much what he just did. I, you might as well have just coup de grace me. Me? That's, yeah, that's what you just did. No, I didn't. No, he didn't. No. You're you unconscious, dying. You can I know, still be but healed. You might as well have because there's no getting me up now that Quincy's down. <laughs> yeah, but that well, was, you roll that was a, your um, action, not mine. You could <laughs> that's roll. That's the difference. We could <laughs> I roll. I didn't coup de grace. We could pass a death save. My we we pop it was up. You, right? It was my player's action. If actions. you pass a death save, it wasn't if me. We, if we pass our death save, we are up with one hit point, correct? Yes. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so you're saying there's a we chance. Have, there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a chance. Oh shit! But does the this uh, gladiator still get two attacks? Um. And that's if I'm going to go down, everybody's can he move? <laughs> <we've> been, <laughs> actually, yeah. that's what we've been doing. Yes. Yeah. Then yeah, he, he does two attacks. He attacks Wesson. Spear <laughs> armor class fourteen. All right, hit. Damn, what's up with all of our ACs? Seven uh, plus. Hit 20 on me. He's yeah. got, what, plus 7 to hit? That's fucking steep. Uh, that's going to be 11 damage Ain't to no. Wesson. Ouch. Brings him up to 36 wounds and down to 18 hit points. There's a lot of red on the screen. Yep. Now, Akramas, Jesus, he sees two people go down, but he also sees this crumb. You know, he's going to take a shot. He sees an, an opportunity at Clay Gladiator number four, who is in a tangle with Wesson. Yeah, take he's it. He's got his crossbow locked and loaded. And he's going for the attack on Gladiator four. It's going to be barely a hit. Let's see if he can get more than minimum damage. That's uh, He gets sneak attack is 2d6 for him, plus... Uh, so it's going to be 3d6 plus 2. <laughs> 5, 6, 7 damage. Let's see how much he's... 3d6 plus 2. <laughs> he, ro he rolled a 4, a 2, and a 1. Uh, let's see. Clay, Clay Dator, he's got 4 hit points left. Cladiator 4 is dead. Nice. All right, good. Orvex. Wonderful. Right. We can Orvex. count on Orvex. Orvex is going to be earning. Bowl. Yeah, he's going to earn some trust here. Launches that changes off. Now he can't use his cunning action because he just acted. He, But he, he feels safe. He's got Wesson and Irame between him and the next uh, oppressor. So he's going to conclude his turn right there, which brings us back to Wesson. Hmm. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm somewhat relieved that that Gladiator 4 is down. What's my move here? I guess, um, so number 3 is kind of focused on Irmay at the um, moment. Um, 3 and 1 are completely fresh, and at this point, they're, they seem confident that they're going to win this fight. So there's no telling who he's going to attack. I think currently, I think the last person he swung at was Arame, and he fumbled, so he doesn't have a reaction. So you won't provoke an, an attack of opportunity by leaving his threat range. But at the same time, Cladiator 1, if you move by him, you will provoke an attack of opportunity. Right. That arcane check, would that take an action? Nope. You that... can do that free of charge. I'll go for that arcane check. Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen. Not bad. Do I have a... You probably don't have intelligence. Minus one, so twelve. 
in your travels through to get here, whether it be getting through Oralunga, whether it be other ruins that you've crossed, you've come to discover that typically when this type of defense happens in an ancient shrine, the defense or whatever attacks you, whatever comes out, doesn't stray far from the point of origin, from the shrine. Yure May, it appears we've been led into a trap. I think we have no choice but to flee and leave our friends here. Can I ask a question? Says the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible for Wesson to pick up Quincy? And flee with him? And do a soldier's march? He does have an 18 strength. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can you can pick up on It's a good question. People. Hmm. Okay, at least get Quincy I think I'm still going to just run for it. I have better <laughs> odds if I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could literally drag him at this point. You don't even necessarily have to pick him up. But I think either or, I think picking him up is with an 18 strength. <laughs> yeah, you can Sling definitely. Sling over the shoulder. Yeah, kinda. you can soldier. You could soldier his ass. Yeah. Out. How much does Quincy weigh? Quincy doesn't weigh much, but I don't know, maybe 130, 140 pounds. Can I use my? Um, so I still have a bardic inspiration. Is that gonna? Can I apply that to? Uh, Tag uh, roll. Oh yeah, you could add it to any of your twenty sided rolls. Yep. Uh, so skill check, anything like that. Um, attacks you can do. Um, all right. So um, yeah, I will. Hoist up Quincy, throw him over the shoulder, get a bur- <laughs> nice burst of adrenaline, and run for it. And okay. I will run. Oh boy! So. You'll 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 provoke one attack, um, but yeah, you can you can you have thirty feet of movement, so you can easily get. Um, you can get ten feet into the hallway. Yep. But that attack of opportunity is going to be huge. If you get hit by that and go down, you can actually. But it's still only out. one attack versus three. Right, right, and, right. And, and you can actually get uh, the first square up from that bottom elbow. So that's as far as you can get uh, carrying Quincy. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, let me open that up. I was wondering if I'd still provoke the attack if I kind of danced around and tried to. I just no, wouldn't but get out. You wouldn't get out, and then yeah. he could just walk over and spear, spear, shield, bash <laughs> your ass. <laughs> yeah. Damn, spear, I mean, just think spear, of it in like, real life. What would you do? You'd pick him up and fucking haul ass yeah. out there. That concludes Wesson's turn, and I got to say, I did not anticipate <gasps> that. That definitely took things for a spin. Irime, you see this happening. <laughs> this is uh, a moment of truth. Now, while you can't... You're, if, if you were to try to flee as told to by Copernicus before f- you shouted out, right? To everybody run. You said we had to yeah, leave. Yeah, it was like, run! And then the gladiator was like, oh, you're up? Yeah, boom, <laughs> done. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, so you <laughs> know that mouth. that's the plan. You just saw Wesson grab Quincy, shoulder him, and head out. Oh, wait, I didn't even try to do the... Oh, I did do the attack of opportunity, didn't I? No. No, I didn't. I have attack no idea. Attack fuck. of opportunity. Natty 18. God oh, damn it, dude. It. It. Can I? It's only one. So, well. It is only one attack. Four and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Are uh, you still up or what? To Wesson. Uh, that, he, he's still up. He's down. He had 18 hit points, so now oh. he's down to nine. 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 And he's still able to keep moving, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so... All right, Irime, grab Cappy and run out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever. It doesn't have an attack of opportunity now because it oh, just used it. Oh, oh. I thought I had left Oh, it. it only gets one attack of opportunity. He only gets one yeah. attack of opportunity. You and can also- totally flee. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I could flee anyway. He- it, it didn't do it on me. The okay, he did didn't it do it on Quincy. Dead. That's right. But I do want to say uh, I have it on here that Weston still has eight temporary hit points. Is that correct? Yes, I think it is actually. Okay, so you actually only took one damage from that. Wait, no, no. Why would he still have the temp hit points? Yeah, why wouldn't them? They would have gone first. I think maybe I I did it twice. You did do it twice. He's been been healed. I don't know. I don't know. I I have it on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, So 
uh, Weston only takes uh, so that shield that Quincy had put on you. That's not a concentration. I'm assuming not. No. Yeah. So you mitigate eight damage. So you actually only took one damage from that, bringing you down to 17 hit points. Right? All right. That's nice. looking pretty good now. Much better. Now, Arame. Sorry to interrupt, but this, yeah, here you are. It's your turn now. Um, now, you, that one already provoked. So, yeah, you have a clean shot at getting out without provoking any attacks. Can I take a last hit before I, uh, I've been trying, that's one of the things I've been trying to decide while looking at the map. Is it going to make a difference if I take one more hit? Are these things going to reset once the trap, like, you know, uh, I don't know base, what's going to happen. You, so you're assessing you the scene. You I'd fucking hit Assessing em. the scene, you know that these things have t taken over 100 points of damage bef before dying, mm -hmm. if that helps. And and these two haven't been touched, I don't think. Yeah, well, no, I don't think Irame thinks by any means that she's going to kill one of them. Uh, she just doesn't know if it's worth taking a, you know, th I have, I can do it and flee successfully if you so if it's, it's, it's just a question of how many squares you want to move really because um you could do your attack and then you still can move your movement speed your 30 feet or you could actually do double your movement by you dashing yeah. dash yep. action and move 60 feet okay so irme doesn't uh see another option she's going to look to copernicus uh one last time <laughs> do you have a potion or anything no, I would have dashed way... I would have been right up somebody's ass with a potion. Irame always fucking... <laughs> <laughs> if Irame can bring could, someone up, I she's not had, a healer, but if she can do it, she'll run through I like a gauntlet to one of her friends. I a potion up Copernicus's ass. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> so just to let you know, if you take the dash action, your max movement will put you uh, just diagonal from the staircase there to the north. Okay. That first... Underneath that first webbing. Yeah. Uh, from the um, stairs. Irame is going to look to Copernicus and then um, she's going to look to Copernicus and then look up through the grate and then she's going to dash. Yep. And um, while she's dashing, uh, she's lost, like at this point, everyone. She's lost a few pounds. Yeah, yeah, dash. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some cardio in there. Uh, she hit her Fitbit steps. It buzzed. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Irame. Um, <laughs> she's... Uh, while she's dashing down that hallway, right, she her mind's going to flash back to the ship on her way to Port Nyanzaru. And she's going to see Quincy looking up in awe at that great sea turtle dragon. And then it's going to flash again. And she's going to be sitting at the gentle mist, looking across the table at Copernicus laughing with a small bit of manga leaf stuck in his teeth. <laughs> We're sharing <laughs> drinks and food and yeah. having a good yeah. time. Yeah, and then her final flash is going to be of Zaveril walking around Sylvain's estate and assessing her artifacts. And uh, there's that moment where he turns and smiles, and she's gonna see she's gonna see Zaveril in that moment because she thinks she's she's losing everyone right now and then her final flash is of her father and she flees well done that brings us to clay gladiator number three who doesn't give a shit about your who father who doesn't give <laughs> two and a half shit <laughs> what's he gonna do is he just gonna walk over and smash orvex or is he gonna chase him oh that is such a good call i don't know orvex is cornered but this Poor thing orvex. we got fleers yeah fuck orvex we he got fleers ran, though <laughs> he could have ran a little instead he took out one of the cladiators yeah he did he's gonna go after orvex he's right in front of his face he's bloodied he sees uh. a bloodied opponent he's gonna take him down and then pursue the rest Orvex is getting a flurry of blows not looking good for you buddy okay <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, first spear on Orvex, Natty seventeen. That's dude. A nail. Stop with the rocks. I got it. I got. Uh, somebody it. give this man a different die. When I'm Seriously. Hot, I'm hot. <laughs> Second roll, eight. Natty eight. That's gonna be a thirteen. Orvex, what's your AC? Only a thirteen. You mean it only gets a plus five? Uh, uh, yeah, we're on to you, bro. I, were, I was getting a plus seven when yeah, it gets a plus were. seven. Fucking hey, you really it's pissed me off. You just killed Orvex, Dean. <laughs> you just killed Orvex. Way to go, Quincy. Yeah. And shield. Just f- I gave Orvex a chance. Natty 14, that's it. So he got hit by three attacks. Oh, good night, sweet prince. Orvex. He had nine hit points left. That's that's it. Oof. That's it for Orvex. Uh, Could pass death saves. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, nobody is technically... For the listeners out there, and I told you to pull over, you're probably still pulled over on the side of the road. <laughs> Nobody's dead quite yet. I just want to make that abundantly clear. There's still saves to make, death saves. Orvex is now down. Next up, well, actually, he still has movement squares. He only used five feet, so five. That can put him, uh, actually... But he used all three attacks on Orvex. He already used all three attacks. Um, okay, yeah, he's fine there for now. Uh, next up is going to be... Copernicus Hot. Copernicus Heart. The dying Copernicus Hot. All right, guys, death save number one. Natty nice. 18. Yes. That's a pass. That's a pass on Copernicus's first death save. Nice. Well done. Oh, you got to get three of them to pop up. Yep. Three passes. Yep. Dude, you know, <laughs> now that I'm staring death down, I just, I don't want Cappy to die. I really don't want him to die. I want, <laughs> I want to play his story out. So we'll see what happens. What's right. up next? Clay one. Next up. Cladiator one. Clay one. You know, either Quincy or Cappy dying would be a sad way to break the tension that has been building between the two. Cladiator one, uh, that puts him in range. Uh, be much see. better in a fight. steamy sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone could use a little draw finger from time to time. Cladiator one Absolutely. is a, with with Quincy on Wesson's shoulder. You hear the oh. the footsteps of this thing on your ass, Wesson. And you're getting a flurry of blows. Oh, it left the arena. I was almost thinking they wouldn't leave the arena. They won't leave the shrine, but they're going to chase her ass right out. Oh, boy. First attack, Natty 2. Nice. Second attack, Natty 2. I can't make this shit up. All right. I cannot make this shit up. Deuce deuces. <laughs> Natty 16 on the shield bash. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this shield bash could render Wesson prone. D20. He could be piled up on D20. the floor. <laughs> you got to pass be, a strength check. So it's going to be a D20 uh, to make a strength saving throw. Should I use my yeah. bardic inspiration? Probably. Uh, well, no, roll it first. Roll it first. And then decide. Oh. Yeah. And then decide. If it's a middle roll, then yeah. Yes, use it. Natty eleven. Well, well add your strength oh, bonuses first. I don't, yeah. I don't think you might. I don't think he'd need to. What's the? What was the DC on he's that? Strength I don't remember. Plus seven. Strength, yeah. Strength. So is, I'm at eighteen. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah. All right. The DC was fifteen on that strength uh, save. So here we go. The damage from the actual bash is going to be minimum damage. It's going to be uh six bludgeoning damage. Wesson takes from the Six bash, bludgy. but he remains on his feet, and I think that is the important mention here. All right, so Wesson uh, obtains six more wounds. Let me get my... So they're following us out, huh? Out into the world. Out into the temple at the very least. All right, that brings Wesson down to 11. Okay, uh, the next actor is Quincy. Ooh, Quincy is going to get a death save. Let's go. Uh, five. That's one fail on the death saves oh. for Quincy. No. Ooh, status dying. One death under the belt. Orvex. It is Orvex needs to make a death save. 
Natty 17. Orvex is has one pass. I got you. Orvex one pass. Thank you. Next up, Wesson. Now you can actually take the dash action now to move 60 feet. Double your movement rate. Dash action. Hmm. See, I'm still kind of pondering that arcane check from earlier. And said so the source of the trap is within proximity. So I'm wondering if there's something above this temple or something or something close by that, you know, could uh, put these gladiators down or help us anyway. Um, now, you get the vibe that if you were to leave the shrine or leave at some point, they're going to reset because otherwise it would be too all to the creators of it in foresight would realize that somebody could go in and trigger the trap and run out. And while a they're chasing train. that, yeah. the the brigands or the robbers, grave robbers, can go in and take the loot. And so, typically, they're confined to the shrine. It's either the shrine itself or a race against the clock, essentially. Okay. For them. All right, then. Um, I'll take the dash. That moves uh, sixty feet for West, and it's going to be five. That doesn't provoke, though. No, uh, not. Or you could disengage, you could disengage and you only move get thirty, 30 feet. feet. Yep. Yeah. Which would not provoke. You'd get right. it. But then it's going to be able to walk up to him and attack because it can also move 30 feet. Oh, uh, so it might be better to dash and do the 60. Yeah, dash. Take the fucking opportunity and get away from it. Yeah. It's the big one because he can do enough damage to put you down. <clears throat> Is there any other strategy here? I could potentially throw Quincy at the clay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some kind of a shield bonus. If <laughs> right. There are other actions. I don't know if there's uh, what the other actions are. Like, I don't have a cheat sheet with all the actions. A lot of them are like, you can take cover, but there's really nothing block. to take you cover with. You can stand with. there and block, yeah. yeah. Or dodge or whatever. No, nah, dude. I think you got to disengage and run, take the attack of opportunity. Well, you mean not dash. disengage. You, you stay dash. engaged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dash, dash. Mrs. Dash. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I normally don't like to tell people what to do, but in a matter of life and death. <laughs> in a matter yeah. of Go. Case. Run. <laughs> All right. Air May will survive, I think. Well, at the same time, too, he's new. So. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I was I was having this conversation with her earlier. I, As a player, I actually love getting all the input because when you're in it, you don't. It's easy to not see everything, you know. No, and I agree. It's okay to get input, but ultimately, like, you don't have to do what other people are suggest suggesting. It's right. still your yeah. action. You have yeah. your heart Absolutely. set. Yeah. yeah. That being said, I'll take the dash. Yep. Back into the temple. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> get the cube. And get the cube. <laughs> right. There's only going to be 14 attacks of opportunity. Let's <laughs> start with the first one. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll dash and uh, I'll take the... Take the attack of opportunity. Yeah. Here we go. That's going to be a natty 15, boys. Uh, So that's going to be 2d6. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, he's got 11 hit points. Fuck. What does he get for added, <laughs> added damage? Here oh, we... Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, what is it? I can't even see. Seven, eight. Normally I could see over there at that table, but your screen is What's just Wesson gonna do? It's, it's set Wesson? Just right. So it's gonna be eight about. so it's gonna be eight total damage, which brings his wounds to fifty one. You have three Wesson hit points. Wesson has three left. hit points left. Three but glorious he just points. gained himself 60 feet. That was enough, mm, man. That's yeah. enough that you're going to live, you and Quincy. As long as Quincy makes his death saves. <laughs> you guys get upstairs and there's, there's nothing four. I can do. to. I can't throw you a might, manga leaf or something? If, if, yeah, you could probably do something like that um, huh? as long as you're safe. Get safety uh, first. As far as, y yes. Or even a medicine check or something yep, like that. Yep, there's ways of... There's definitely ways of doing it. Now, as so Wesson, now you are right above the grate here. Now, what I'm going to do, for the sake of things, I'm going to put Copernicus right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
because that's essentially what's going on. Now Copernicus, the dying Copernicus, is literally, what did I say, six, seven feet away from you? See, I'm wondering if I can get Quincy up. Would he be able to cast, would he be able to heal Copernicus from the top? It, you would have seen that every time Quincy has healed somebody, it, it's been by touch. Oh. Yeah, he's got to touch him. He's getting his hands down. Ten feet that, down. Dangling yeah. by his <laughs> ankle. Stretch arm strong. <laughs> Stretch arm strong, the cleric. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was Wesson's turn. Gained some ground. You know, as for all intents and purposes, Weston, you feel like you're in the clear. You took that attack of opportunity and it bought you. You're confident because you know this opponent. You fought these opponents. It was all too familiar to you right from the get-go. You know what they're capable of. And you know that you're in the clear at this point. Well, you know, you're at least out of attack range until it catches up with you. All right. Next up is going to be Irame. You saw Wesson bolt by you with Quincy on his shoulders. <laughs> I did. Um, I'm going to continue moving up. I'm nervous about abandoning the temple as a whole. Like what? Like Copernicus might be done if we all leave the Not temple. Not much you can really do for me now, except for try to keep those things on your tail so they don't turn around and come back and kill me. Quincy's a, uh, sorry, Copernicus is a greasy bastard. So if he pops up out of his death saves, I think he has a trick up his sleeve or two. Yeah, you've seen <laughs> him teleport him. before in the croc fight. You've seen him teleport. Yeah, yeah, but he needs. You don't know what he needs. <laughs> well, he's got two. He's he's got two death saves that he needs to pass before those guys right, go back but... down there and this temple resets. That's the that's what I'm talking about. Like, do I stay yeah. until he's rolled those death throws? Ask thinking, yourself this question. Could you stand one flurry of blows from these guys? I'm thinking I take flight over that grate and they can't reach me. Well, how? And how, I hurdle attacks from there until he's done with his death throws. How and tall I is see that him ceiling? get up. And if you remember, I guess looks if down, they're below Irame and you're up. on the grate, then you don't even have to fly. But no, but they'd still, they would still be on my ass in the temple if I'm still in there. Right, but we've established it's only like 10 feet high. Yeah, it's... Oh, but the, that was down below. How high is the temple ceilings? Standard room size. Which I'd is, still have to take like, flight, though, to stay all, like, I at think the gate. Even, I, in this room anyway, if you were outside, that's a whole other story. But yep. in this room anyway, you'd still be within threat range because you wouldn't. your feet would still be within spear reach of him. Ah, I gotcha. Is essentially is what it is. Now, if you were yep. outside, you had a ten that's foot, different. You could definitely stab the ceiling. Yep. Yep. The now, well, I was thinking if I was in the spear. center of it, maybe that would be enough to keep me out of reach. Right, if, yeah. they're, if they're standing on the edge and it's... Maybe. I guess I got to look at the map. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess maybe that grade is too small. They'd still be able to reach me if I was in the center of it, wouldn't they? No, if they're below and you're up in the grate, that's fine. But if they're in the same level with you, yeah, then you're in trouble. Yep. Right. Yep. Gotcha. And they would. They see. They appear to be pursuing us. And I mean, you know, you could see if they turn back. You could move forward and see if they come up into this room or not. Yeah. Maybe before that's fleeing, the next move will be. All right, so I'll just go. I'll just continue leaving then. All right, so you're going to dash, I'm assuming. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That puts you at Holy the shit. entrance of the shrine, but not quite out. Does Irame have any, like, web spells or any weird shit like that? I was no. wondering if anything could obstruct the hall. A good snare. Mm. Yeah. Good snare. I thought about <laughs> hanging back and sending one of those lightning bolts. Does like eight, <gasps> and they'll be in a straight line yeah. soon. Yeah, but at the same time, even you know, it it's eight d six. Even if I roll, Matt, I'm not gonna kill them. No, right. but you're gonna fuck them up. Fuck them up. Absolutely. You'll just piss them off. How many more of those can you do? <laughs> <laughs> I've I got one more. Ah, oh, damn. But um, right. even then though, it's like it's a tough call. If that was the case, I would have stayed down there and threw a few more spells around before I even left. So what's Cladiator 3 doing? Cladiator 3, well, he's pursuing. Nice. He is pursuing right, up the hallway. Uh, as I, yep, yeah, so Cladiator, I mean, you guys can't. That, he, that makes Copernicus safe. You hear yeah. 
yeah, all you guys, you don't you don't see this. All you can hear behind you hear them the boots or not not boot, but you know stone on stone clomping through the hallway, and Copernicus. All I have to do is not die. Uh, purple, purple die. Don't don't fail me. No, that's a fail. Oh, What'd you seven. get? Seven. Seven. Fuck. Ooh, one pass, one fail. That sucks because it's a round. It's another round. You have to be yep. <laughs> down there. Gladiator one oh, is pursuing. Got to be something we're missing. Those gra- that grape being brittle, but they're not stupid enough to go to try to walk to fall. I'm thinking if you could get them, if you could somehow get them to fall down into the pit, they might shatter. If they're brittle, if they're brittle, maybe we can. The grates brittle, but they aren't. Yeah. Well, yeah. what I'm what I'm saying is that maybe we can make a rescue mission, jump down there and the rope. Try to get, get them back. Out. Yeah, something yeah. like that. A rope. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, as long as well. I mean, if these things are, or even if Quincy can touch them and get them healed. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. We can't. Uh, we won't have. To, we won't have time to bring Quincy to. And get him down there long, without one yeah. of us suffering, also falling. And then Quincy's pretty tapped out on spells. He wouldn't be able to. We just be essentially, even if we could get Copernicus up, we just we could possibly sacrifice both of us just to get Cappy out, and and then Quincy as well could fall with the attacks coming from them. If somebody lowered, I mean, this is all assuming that we don't have <laughs> the golems still on right. us. If the gladiators weren't there and we didn't want to re-trigger the trap and we wanted to get Copernicus out of there, Quincy could be lowered with a rope, heal Copernicus, <laughs> and Copernicus could, and, and then Copernicus could teleport out of there and you could raise Quincy with the rope. Yes. But, you know, that's a lot of conditions that have to be met for that to happen. Yeah. Quincy, you're up. Let's see a death save. Death save for Quincy. Second one. 18. That's a pass. There you go. Pass. Nice. Quincy's not going anywhere. All right. Was now. that a fail and a pass or a pass? One pass, pass one fail. Orvex. Let me roll for poor Orvi. Did he pass his last one? No, he failed it. No. Didn't he? You wrote it down, didn't Oh, you? I wrote it down. One pass. He's got another pass. That's two passes. All right. Uh, next up is Wesson. He's going to loot Copernicus before he leaves. <laughs> 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 Uh, Weston, you see Arame. She's almost out of the shrine, but not quite. Uh, but she's, you, you see her bolting with you, essentially. So you said last, my last turn, that Weston dashed, and now he feels safe. He feels relieved. He's got, he's got a, enough distance to where you know that these things have 30 feet movement. So, and you, because you used the dash, you know that these things also could have a dash action, too, though which they could use to gain ground. All right, so when you say safe, it's not necessarily not like necessarily. time to chill, time yeah, to rest. No, it's no, like, okay. you just got to keep going. What I meant by <laughs> safe is you know that in his turn, he couldn't reach you with his normal movement and attack you from behind like he did originally. Okay, I guess I'll keep... Keep hucking it? Yeah. All right, so fine. Another so dash, I suppose? I mean, is that... Yeah, you'd have to dash or move 25 and still be in the shrine with Aramae. Uh, so if if you dash, you can get out of the shrine successfully. Oh, yeah. I'll do, do a little dash. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wesson and Quincy exit the shrine. Ooh, Next up Quincy's, is Irame. Quincy's out. Irame's holding there. In the shrine entrance? Yeah, I think. You're still in the shrine. I know I'm still in the shrine. Pull back. They won't be able to attack. They won't be. They can't reach me. Right. So At I'm, least not next They can turn. dash. Yeah, but they can't dash. Yeah, but they won't they be able to attack. And attack. I'm going to stay for Copernicus's third death roll. Well, she's going to see him die. You don't want them to get next to you because <laughs> if they can dash next to you, then they can attack opportunity oh, attack yeah. while you the try attack to leave. Opportunity, yeah. Oh, oh, can they can they get that close to me though? I don't know. Can they get within attack I range? Think one of them can. No, he can't no. get to you yet. No, I'm staying. Yeah, one more turn. Okay. Even still, you might be able to take one attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. She's like almost full, or is full. I am full, but that doesn't mean much. <laughs> Gladiator three, explain to me what you're doing. I'm staying for oh, Copernicus. You could uh, dodge. You're staying for Copernicus, who's dying on the ground below. 
She wants to keep yeah. an eye on. Things. Yeah, she stay. She's gonna. She's gonna yep. stay for as long as she possibly can where her friend is dying. All right. You could at least dodge, which gives you a higher AC or whatever. Yeah. But, but I don't even. I don't even have and to. And you won't even have to. My right? next turn, I can just. Unless, I can literally turn around and bullshit. walk out the door. Unless he pulls some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fidir three moves up. Is now next to the grate. He dashed. And next up is Copernicus. A ten. Oh, that's a fail. That's Fuck no, me. Hey, it might be a pass. No, that's a fail. I, I think we went through this before. We yeah, thought I think one it is a pass. Ten. Shut we up. thought one through ten was fail, and it, eleven through twenty was pass. But then we discovered. Right. So but they give you higher odds of passing. I right. think so. By yeah. Just it, one. By roll. the rules, it is a pass. But we've been playing. Oh, so we're going to stick with the 50-50. No, no, no. We found we out the real rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but, yeah, but we do other things that It was that make clarified, though, that it, in the past it was clarified that 10 and above was right. the right way, but we ultimately decided as a group that 11 and above because we wanted it to be a little 5% harder. Because right. five I right. don't remember easy. making the difference. Because 5 e is too easy. Uh, don't you remember? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, right. when did I kind of do. I actually kind of do remember. I want. So, I don't know if I want somebody to die, but I kind of feel like. <laughs> 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 this is what I get, I'm We're sweaty. not fucking talking I'm to each other for the rest of the night. <laughs> 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 James is facing away from the GM. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even looking at. Well, what do you want to do? You want to play easy mode or? I w- w- well, whatever we said we were going to do, that's what we should do. If we said that's how we're going to play it, that's how we have to play it. We have no choice. Yeah, that was said on, uh, I forget the episode number, but it was the refuse pit. I mean, if you want, we can pause it, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> or we can, you know, we could, we could play it. No, I'm not I mean, one to fucking dick around. If it's a fail, it's a fail. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Next oh, up no. is Clay Gladiator number one. I need more wine. Quincy's going to fucking destroy those Krugan spheres as soon as Copernicus is dead. Uh. <laughs> Quincy could still die, actually. Click Gladiator number one. Aramay is now 10 feet from you. We don't know what Aramay's up to. She's got something cooking. I'm not sure what it is. I don't have anything cooking. I was just hanging out. Uh, Quincy, you're up. Death save. All right. Ooh, four. That's it. If Quincy, if something does not happen, happen to Quincy within the next round, he could potentially die on his next death save. Well, we're outside now, outside of the shrine. Well, you are. Well, he's with me. I have him. You guys are. Yes. Uh, Next up, Orvex death save. Natty three. That's his first fail. Fuck, dude. And next up is Wesson. <laughs> now, Wesson, you see Aramay pause in the shrine at this point. Because Orvex could have fucking gotten up and healed Cappy. Yeah. That's why I'm uh, so disappointed yeah. about that. Yeah. This episode should be called Death Save. <laughs> uh, Wesson, you now see Aramay. Now, you did that arcana check. You, you have a strong feeling that the shrine is the key to this, right? Irma is pausing. She's holding. Um, she's not sure what she's... She's kind of waiting to see what happens with Copernicus. You see these gladiators coming right up against her. What do you do? You're outside with Quincy. So I'm a bit overwhelmed right now. A lot happened in the past five <laughs> a lot minutes. A of bright lights. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's all just kind of buzzing. Wesson's having flashbacks of battle. And it all feels natural, but it's quite chaotic at the same time. He's kind of wondering what he got himself into. Wesson's looking back at Irma and like, what is she doing? Is she, you know, does she need my help? But also he's focused on young Quincy. And he just kind of drops Quincy, realizing that that's kind of his priority right now. And Wesson just begins to kind of shake him violently, saying, Quincy, Quincy, come to it. Come to it. Are you alive, my friend? Talk to me, Quincy. Don't shake the baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a uh, medicine check. <laughs> <laughs> reminds this reminds me of the scene in Airplane 
<laughs> and the woman is hysterical and everybody gets in line and they're smacking her and they've got baseball bats and chains. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a medicine check. See if you could bring him too. Ooh. Natty two. Plus one medicine. That's a three. Yeah, he's still he's still unconscious. Mm. Here, May, you're up. You see Wesson dr- put Quincy down on the ground. These things are literally 15 feet away from Wesson. But Wesson, outside of the shrine, for whatever reason, puts Quincy down. Something, for whatever reason, he feels safe enough to put Quincy down on the ground to try to resuscitate him. Um, Irame is looking in um, to the temple and she is... Everyone's wondering what the fuck Irame is doing and she's just hoping. She was just hoping to see Copernicus get up. She was hoping to see fucking Sybil. It's like she was just hoping that um, Orvex would get up and heal him. Like somebody would do something. And that was why she waited. And upon seeing nothing... Irame turns defeated, weeping, and exits exits the shrine and falls to her knees next to Quincy. All right, that puts Irame right there. And Irame is going to do a <laughs> oh, no. medicine check. Oh. All right, All give right. me a medicine check on Quincy. Wow, this is down to the <laughs> fucking threads. All right. Natty 19 on my medicine oh, check. Nice. Natty 90, baby. So what does this mean for Quincy? Uh, Quincy, you're at one. One hit point, so I'm conscious. Quincy, you come to, to the blue sky. Uh, Irame, standing above you, or kneeling before you, actually, uh, tending. you just trying to wake you up. She was doing like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they did. I back actually in the imagine t- it was more like a she fell and she was crying and a tear <laughs> fell. Found in my chest. A tear <laughs> fell. Your oh, chest okay. So hard that and it hit, restarted your and heart. hit your cheek. And there's like oh, yeah. choir music playing in slow motion. <laughs> All right, and Quincy just <laughs> <laughs> and he grabs her. Was he drowning where's, or where's Copernicus? <laughs> 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 He's pissed. Why am I wet? <laughs> I was drowning in her tears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Where's Copernicus? <laughs> um, so you. So okay. So the clay gladiator's turn. He moves, goes to move, and as he's running towards you, Wesson, he just disappears. <laughs> Would be set. Ooh, I can picture like what? sparks. You he know. was like charging at you with a spear, ready to attack. Because Wesson's still right in front of the door, and right before the spear hits you, he just. Phew, I can picture like a it, puff. smoke and embers. You know. Yep, and you see those. Even the transparency of the spear, like going through me. Yeah. And you see <laughs> the the mist from where it was, the cloud, <laughs> go down the hall. Actually goes right through the grate, down where it was, wherever it came from. I gotta. St- I have no choice here but to stay in combat order because we have dying characters, which brings us to Copernicus Heart. One pass, two fails. Give me a death save. Don't let me down, purple die. Next week. No. <laughs> Get away. I grabbed some rocks because they were uh, like six bucks. I always okay. feel like rolling rocks taste skunked, like upon opening them. Sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm, oh, I've I, never been into It uh, might be a green rock, bottle but, thing, but though, because Heineken 2 has though. like a skunky taste to me. I don't know if that's just like my palate or what, but. They're pretty good. I had one the other day and was like. I, I remember one weekend snow. where they hit the spot, but other than <laughs> yeah, that, was in my whole life, in my whole life. 
Maybe I'm in that phase right yeah, now. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that was this is your, is your week one weekend. Yeah. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Drink as many as you can, son. <laughs>